to the channel. If you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe to stay up to date with all the content that we put out on a daily basis. At this point, we've got success coaches in our company who are putting out content on a on a regular basis. Almost every 24 hours, there is a, a video going out to help you with your business. So make sure you subscribe so you stay up to date with the content we put out so you don't get stuck with your training business. Now, if you get to the end of this video and you would like to schedule a free 15 to 20 minute call with me, you can do that. And the best way to do that is by visiting the Calendly link in the description of this video. You can book a free 15 to 20 minute call with me. I can jump on a Zoom call, ask you a couple of questions, see where you are with your business, see where you want to get to. And I can show you some actionable steps to take this week to grow and scale your coaching business. Now, if you don't want to schedule a call with me and you just want to send me a question, you can do that as well. Uh, send it to my email to makemoneycoachingsports at gmail.com. Right, so let's get straight into today's video. And today I'm going to be talking about how to look for a good marketer or what to look for in a good marketer. Now, when I say marketer, right, this is a, a kind of, it's a trend at the moment that a lot of trainers are currently using to help market and promote what they do, okay? So essentially a marketer is someone that, that you pay to go out and promote your business and promote what you do to other people, okay? And this might be through uh, in-person conversations. This could be through handing out flyers, it could be through social media, right? So it could be a lot. There's there's many different ways that you can you can pay someone to market and promote what your company does. Okay. So today I want to I want to share you a couple of tips or a couple of things, better said, to look for when you bring on a a marketer. Okay. And these are a couple of things that we've been talking about with coaches who are really already currently part of our accelerator program and we are helping them because a lot of the the business owners in our in our program they're at a stage now where they're looking to bring in a, a marketer to promote and market what they currently do right so the first thing you want to look for is is this person hungry right now a lot of the times coaches don't take the time to actually research or analyze the person they're bringing in or hiring. Okay? Not just in the sense of, of a marketer, but in the sense of an assistant coach or someone that comes in and helps with the coaching or the training. Right, A lot of the time coaches are very quick to bring people in, but they don't really do their, their due diligence on that person. They don't research, they don't analyze, they don't actually break down what that person does, how that person is, is that person showing up on time, uh, are they a good communicator, you know, how do they present themselves, how do they talk, okay? Now, hunger is something that you need to have in order to succeed, right? And if you're bringing someone in to your business who's going to be wearing your logo, who's going to be representing your company, and who is going to be driving hopefully leads and new business to you they need to be hungry they need to be a person that is consistent they need to be a person that's committed and they need to be a person that is fully into what you are doing okay and the only way that's going to happen is if that person is hungry to succeed so something you need to look for when you bring in a new person is how hungry are they Right? Are they hungry to succeed? Are they hungry to grow their income? Are they hungry to, to you know, create a better life for themselves and for their family? Because okay? if they are, then not only will they grow financially, but your business will do well as well. Okay? So what I would encourage is be patient when you bring people on. Right? Don't rush it. But make sure it's the right person and the right fit for you and your business. Right. The second thing is good communication. 
right? If you're sending a person out to market and represent your company, they need to be able to be a good communicator. They need to be able to communicate well with potential prospects, with parents, uh, with players, with, you know, people that are decision makers. So you might be sending them out to, to visit a few, you know, rec centers or YMCA's to go and speak to, to businesses to drive more traffic to your company, they need to have good communication. They need to have. They need to be able to speak properly. They need to be able to communicate with people. So something you you need to look for can that can that person have a great conversation with someone else? How are they talking to other people? What's the conversations they're having? What are the questions that that they're asking the person what problems are they looking to solve for the people that they're speaking to right and also not just that but how well do they communicate with you as the business owner because if you're sending someone out and you're paying them to go and represent your company and to do a job marketing and promoting your business are they communicating with you right are they getting on a phone call with you to, to give you an update on on the latest what's going on are they you know showing you what what work they've done at the moment are they you know are they sharing with you what that what leads are coming in who they've spoken to who has shown interest what people are saying okay, so they have to be able to communicate to a high level in order to be successful and to be a really good marketer for your business Right, next one is, are they on time and can they follow instructions? Punctuality for me is number one. If a person isn't punctual, if they're not on time, if they're not showing up early, then ultimately you can't work with them. You can't, you can't help them and they won't be able to help you. Right, it's very easy to show up on time, to be organized. These are very simple things to do. But most people, I would say 95% of people out there, can't do this, right? If you tell them 3, 3 p.m., are they showing up at 3, 3 p.m. or 2.50? Or are they showing up at 3.30? Okay? If they're showing up on time and they're following your instructions, then they... For me, they're a good fit for your for your program and for your company. So something to look for, are they showing up on time? Because you might have organized for them to go and speak to potential prospects at a certain time in the day. And if that person can't meet those expectations, then what happens is that's going to give your, your business, your logo, your brand a really bad image. So how well are they uh, following your instructions and are they arriving on time to events, meetings and to calls with you when it comes to business? Okay. Now the next one is are they a self-starter type of person? So something we always encourage trainers to look for is a person that is self-starting so what i mean by this is a person that is starting from you know the beginning and they want to grow and they want to um build a future for themselves so self-star is someone that's starting basically from from zero so you're bringing in someone who wants an opportunity to grow and they're looking for that one moment or that one that one opportunity to be able to improve their life, their, their lifestyle, and to grow within a company. And if you give, a, you know, if, if someone's coming to you and already they're demanding things from your, your business, for me, that's not a self-star. A self-star is someone that is starting from scratch but they have that vision, they have that hunger, and they, they have that drive to get better and to grow 
and to get to the next level. Okay, so four things to look for when you bring on a, a marketer to, to market and promote your business is number one, hunger, right? Are they hungry to succeed? Are they hungry to do well? Not just on a personal level, but, but within the company. Do they want to grow? Do they want to see the company exceed? exceed? The second one is good communication. Are they a good communicator? How are they talking to you? How are they talking to potential prospects, to clients? The third one is, are they following your instructions and are they on time to any event or any event or meeting that you, you're putting together for them to go out and promote and market your business? And the fourth one is, are they a self-starter? So are they starting from scratch? but looking for an opportunity to grow and to excel, to grow their income and to be part of something big. Okay? So those are the four things I look for when I bring on a marketer for, for my business. And these are the four things I share and I help coaches with when they bring on someone in someone new into their business right and this doesn't necessarily just have to be a marketer it could be when you bring in an employee okay because the four things i've shared really can be transferred into into anyone that you bring into your company okay so hopefully this helps again if you want to speak to me if you want to get in contact with me two ways mainly to do that first one is via a zoom call so visit the description in this video you can book a free 15 to 20 minute call with me. Doesn't matter where you are in the world. I speak to every coach who reaches out and schedules a call. Or if you just want to send me a, a question with, with regards to anything to do with your business, I'll be able to answer that as well. Okay. Again, make sure you subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with all the content our success coaches are putting out. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.